what is going on guys how's everyone doing today so we are here today at the riverbank i got two poles with me today not just one and the reason for that is we're going to be fishing two ways today guys and we are going to be fishing obviously using the jigging method with a swim bait which is one of my favorite things i can do and uh <clears throat> there it is guys there's my Kai Tech I got a quarter ounce jig head, six pound test line, uh, medium, uh, medium action rod, seven footer, and over here I have my medium heavy. It's just an ugly stick set. I'm nothing special. I have a slip sinker rig on it with a little size six bait holder hook, and the reason for that is we're gonna be fishing out the bottom today too. So today, guys, it is a really really cold morning. It's about 22 degrees right now. Well, maybe slightly warmer. That's what it was when I left the house about 10 minutes ago. So one thing I might have up my sleeve today for you guys is we might do a little catch and cook. I always have the stuff in my bag to cook something up, and I think today might be one of those days because it is cold i'm hungry i took off like a bat out of hell out of the house because hey if we're going fishing i don't care about anything else so there's a rumbly in my tummy and i'm cold so some nice walleye nuggets would do the trick right now let's rig up throw a worm out there see if we can catch anything weird anything cool maybe a walleye a keeper walleye start jigging and let's start fishing all right guys first thing i want to do is i want to get the worm in the water so we're just Ah, oh, we're, we're not, <laughs> duh, everything's frozen. Uh, we're not gonna do anything. Um, as you guys see, this is usually all mud and everything, and usually you can put a stick in here. This is all frozen. There's, I, yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to MacGyver something here. Yeah, this is not happening. Okay, wait, I think I found a soft spot. Yeah. I managed to find a soft spot. This is gonna do good. Okay, so <laughs> all right, we managed to find a soft spot. So that's that's really good for us. That's where our uh, night crawler pole is gonna be. So we got something to work with right now. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. That's good news. So we're gonna set that up. We're gonna throw a worm out there, and then we're gonna get to jigging on uh, the other rod. All right, so we're gonna send this thing out. Man, there's a lot of brush here. We're not really gonna even go that far. Okay, there we go, not even far, just enough, just enough. We're gonna set our drag a little loose, there we go, perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be, get that pole rested. Okay, and just like that, we are fishing, final touch, we're gonna put the bell up top here, so if we get a bite, we can hear it. Now what's gonna make it a little bit more difficult here, guys, is to actually get a keeper walleye is in the body of water where I am fishing, statewide regulations state you can catch a total of five walleye, 15 inches each. Over here, the limit is only three walleye and they gotta be 18 inches. So you gotta get kind of a big fish to keep it over here. But I'm confident we'll be able to do that. Fish on guys, fish on, fish on, fish on baby. I felt them pick it up. Oh yeah, that's definitely a walleye. I feel the head shakes. Oh yeah, now hopefully it's a keeper. Is it? I don't know, but. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, he's in the current. He doesn't feel huge, but I don't know. We'll see guys. We will see. Okay, uh, looks decent. That's a nice fish. Actually, I'm gonna. Go ahead and uh, under this rod. I'm just gonna flip him over. Uh, okay, on the ice. Whoa, and over you go. Okay, guys, so we do have intended species here. Okay, we got our first fish. Um, caught him jigging. Usually, uh, over here, a steady retrieve is much more productive. But I got this guy jigging. I don't think he's gonna be a keeper. He doesn't look like he's uh, even close to 18 inches, but we're gonna give him a quick measure. Um, I'd say about 17. Gave this guy a nice quick little measure. He is just shy of 17 inches. We need him to be 
a little over an inch bigger so there it is first fish of the day we know they're here um took a little bit of work there you go buddy we've been here for about 10 minutes probably 20 casts in and uh we finally got one now what i learned something is for the first eight nine minutes i was doing a steady retrieve nothing this was about my second or third cast jigging maybe today is the day where they like it slower they like a slower presentation so i'm going to continue jigging it and see if i start having better luck in the next 10 15 minutes but we're on the board we're not getting skunk today we got a fish now hopefully hopefully we can get a keeper all right guys so we are going to set up somewhere over here there's a deep pool in front of us we moved up about 50 yards up river and um <laughs> i mean there's a deeper pool here i'm hoping it's holding some fish i'm hoping it will have better luck than we had so far because one fish is not going to cut it especially a short so again let me struggle with this thing and see if i can get it in the ground and uh other than that we're just going to be fishing around and uh see what happens all right good thing about um this spot here guys is we are probably about a good six feet above the water level so it gives us better casting abilities we can go a little further um unlike our first spot there's no brush behind us so i don't have to worry about getting caught up so i i just feel like this could be more productive in that sense but yeah it all it all depends whether or not there's fish here What do we got? Fish on, baby. Fish on. Fish on. We got him with the steady retrieve this time. Feels uh, feels okay. He is in the current, so who knows. If it's a really big one, and I truly believe it's a keeper, I will go down there for him. But other than that, we're just going to try to flip him up, I think. Definitely a walleye. He's sticking to the bottom. That's always a good sign. Oh, you know what, guys? Oh, this is a good fish. Guys, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I truly believe we got ourselves a keeper right here, guys. I'm going down after him. This is terrible because, oh, it's so icy. Oh man, it's icy. Come here, he's not even hugged that good. Come here, my guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, got him, got him, got him, guys. All right. Oh, yeah we did it we did it oh he was barely hooked on barely hooked on jesus i really do believe this one might be a keeper i really do it's a solid fish he's thick that is a thick boy right there but will he measure is he 18 inches i don't know let's check it out he's 18 boys yeah there's our keeper walleye that is freaking awesome i think we're gonna get started on this guy right now because i am starving it is cold i could use a warm meal um man the only thing that sucks is i really don't want to clean this fish because then i'm gonna get my hands dirty and i'm gonna have to wash them and i have no gloves so that's gonna be really cold however i do think i might have gloves in there so that'll just save my fingers from getting wet in the water by washing all the slime and stuff off so i think we're gonna do that all right guys i'm in luck it is freezing and the last thing i want to do is have to wash my hands in that cold ass water i got i do have gloves in my backpack i always got random shit so that's that always pays off so like this after i'm done cleaning the fish i just throw these out i don't gotta worry about getting my hands cold because i don't have my gloves my warm gloves i have these surgical gloves that i use for just doing random crap so today i'm going to use them to clean this fish so i got the walleye behind me guys i'm just going to clean them up real quick and uh yeah we're going to make some walleye nuggets i do have a little potato with me that i brought along so we're going to make some french fries with that as well so i'm eager to eat yeah all right guys so there it is we got two really nice fillets over here off of this guy i cleaned it up there's no bones in it no pin bones um 
since we are on public land, I am not getting rid of uh, the rest of the walleye body because if a DC officer comes through, um, he might want to measure it, make sure everything's legal. So I don't want to just be cooking fish on the side of the river and don't have any proof that I caught a legal fish. So um, until we leave, we're just going to hang on to this guy, leave him on the side. We're going to cube these guys up and we're going to get to cooking. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. Here, just put a little bit of water. All I have, unfortunately, is my bottle of water here. So I got to use. So I'm gonna take these fillets in here, just throw them in. Unfortunately, these aren't the cleanest or ideal conditions and I wasn't really too ready for it. But we're gonna close this bag up and we're just gonna shake it up. Just to clean off and rinse off the fish best as we can. Okay, just like that. Let them just rinse off. Now, I wish I had a bottle of soda or, you know, like a Sprite, anything lemon-lime so I can marinate these guys in for even a little bit of salt, which I don't. So, we're just going to give them a bath to just rinse off all this stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to cube them up. I'm going to set everything up and we're going to get to cooking. All right, guys, so I have a little stove over here. And um, I absolutely love this thing. It's so small. I mean, it comes in this little box. It unfolds here. Let me show you guys. It's this little guy, okay? It just unfolds just like this. It goes all around. This will ignite your spark if you don't have a lighter, but it doesn't work too great sometimes, so I just always carry a lighter with me. Um, but this is a great little gadget, and the flame is pretty good. So... I always have one of these. This is what we're going to be using today, guys. Uh, got some gas, of course, for our fancy stove. So, okay, all we do is just tighten this thing in. There it is. She's ready to go. Just fix these up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be deep frying this stuff, right? So I want to make sure that oil is nice and hot. So I want to find a level spot here which seems as good as any, I guess. There we go. Now I do have an old pot I use. I took off the handle because it's more stable on this little guy over here. In this other bag here, I have a mixture. And we're gonna make a batter out of this. We're gonna throw the cubes in here, get them nice and battered up from here to go and right into the pan. Also got a potato with me here. We're gonna make some fries to go along with it. So there we are. Um, potatoes take longer to cook, so we might throw this one on first. I don't know. We'll see. Before anything, let's get working on this walleye. Got our two fillets over here. And dump this water out. Use this to put them on. A little bit of grass in there. That's fine. Never hurt nobody. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great, guys. I'm excited. So, I'm going to get this batter in here. And, uh, what we're going to do... Let's just add a little bit of water here. Hopefully, we have enough to get it where we want it to be. Get a good consistency. Okay, that seems like it's getting where we want it to be. We just want to use our hands to mush it all up. So we get a decent batter. Um, you know what, that's like a good consistency. It's not too watery, but it's still a little thick where we're gonna get a good amount of it on our fish so i'm gonna put this to the side we got our fish over here what we're gonna do is uh get some oil going because that's gonna take a while to heat up oh oh my god this is so nice right now i know it looks probably not that bad on camera because the sun's out but damn i'm cold oh that's already getting warm hell yeah this is exactly what we want we're gonna take some oil just dump it in there because again we are going to deep fry these things oh yeah there she goes all right guys so these right here are the walleye fillets we're going to cube them up i got my little outdoor stove going got our batter and our potato which we're going to probably do later for some french fries so yeah let's uh let's get started i'm just going to cube these up into bite-sized pieces uh, about this big and uh well here i'll show you guys on the gopro we're gonna have it that big and just throw it right in the battery all right guys so we got our fish out of this water behind us right there and now it is just ready 
to be cooked. And here we go, guys. We got it marinating in this bag right here and some batter. I don't know if you necessarily want to say marinating, but we got in the batter just hanging out until our oil is ready to go. Um, we got our little outdoor stove over here. And uh, yeah, no, it's totally cool that we got to come out here, you know. Um, had a rough start. We probably had to work for about an hour to catch that fish, but we did. It just so happened to be a keeper. And I mean, behind the water right there, guys, I just got this fish about 10 minutes ago, right over here in this water. And now it's going to go into my belly. There it goes. There's one, two, three, eight. We'll leave it at eight pieces for now. Now, while we wait for the walleye, I do have this potato. I am uh, just gonna cut a couple of pieces and sort of make like french fries to go along with it. I think that would be a cool treat. I can't help myself. I gotta throw in a couple of these french fries in here to get them going. I'm not surviving here, you know, I'm not living in the wild. This isn't no crazy video like that. I'm not doing no challenge. I just came out here on an empty stomach. It's cold. I'm doing what I love. I'm getting a little bit of nature therapy and this is gonna be such an amazing reward. All right, we're gonna check on these, see how they're doing. Oh my God, would you look at that? If that doesn't look good, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna start putting these on the plate. This is gonna be freaking delicious. Absolutely delicious. All right, guys, look at that. Look at those nice walleye nuggies. That is just absolutely amazing. I am freaking excited to eat this right now. Look at that, look at that. Look at these boys right here. Oh my goodness. Look at those walleye nuggies right there, baby. Now I got my french fries in there. Okay, they're they're actually about done, so I'm gonna pull them out now. All right, guys, so it is time to enjoy. Would you guys just please, please take a look at that? We got our walleye nuggets here. We got our French fries. This is gonna be absolutely awesome. Look at that. This looks so good. Smells great. All right, so one thing I want to show you guys is how beautiful, beautiful the walleye meat is. So I'm just gonna take one of these little nuggets over here. Okay, let's take this big fat. Oh, that one's hot. We're gonna take the smaller one, it's probably cooler, okay? I set the plate down, okay? I want you guys to be able, hold on, let me move the camera where there's better light, right? So, just look at that nice flaky white meat. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Whoa, I almost fell back, look at that. Mm-hmm, so good. I almost took a dip. This is, oh man, this is so worth it, guys. Mmm. Pick up the plate here, because I need more. Oh, guys, this is absolutely amazing here. Here I am on a beautiful, sunny day. Let me position the camera so I'm not standing uh, with my back towards the water over there, because I'm going to end up falling down and eating shit. That's not going to be cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is nature therapy at its absolute finest. I mean, here I am, I took a couple of minutes out of my time to cook up, well, clean and cook the fish I just caught. And I mean the freshest, most delicious fish there is, at least in my opinion, um, freshwater fish. And I'm getting to enjoy everything, you know. I'm enjoying this river and its bounty that it gave me. I love it. And, you know, I brought myself something as simple as a potato. I made some french fries. Mm, and more are they good. Because all the seasoning from the fish got all over the fries and they're absolutely delicious look at this thing guys oh, beautiful golden brown mm. oh man this is this <laughs> this is life got my wine nuggies got my french fries you can't ask for more and it's so freaking cold out right now it looks beautiful when there's no wind that sun hits you it's it's okay but it's so cold and this uh this warm fish just hitting my belly right now is really hitting the spot if you ever get the chance i mean you know you get yourself a little camping stove like that i mean you really can do this kind of stuff with bare minimum and i mean it is just so rewarding it makes you feel just empowered with knowing um having the knowledge that 
<coughs> you possess self-sustainability you know like this is this is awesome who needs a supermarket when you can come out to the riverbank get yourself a nice fish cook it up right here with some basic stuff and it's so good mm. guys i want to take a moment to give a shout out to my homegirl jill she's a friend of mine and also one of my top subscribers i mean she loves watching the videos and uh greatly supports the channel thank you jill if it wasn't for her i probably wouldn't be doing this because she got on my ass and said jack when the hell are you gonna do a catch and cook well there you go jill we're catching we're cooking and we're enjoying the shit out of these walleye nuggets <laughs> i'm be honest with you guys this catch and cook gig is so awesome i love doing these videos it's just it, it's a lot of work and like in this environment when i say environment i mean in this weather um it being cold and everything it's just painful to do almost but i'm really enjoying this so if you guys do want to see me do more catch and cook videos um especially like in the <laughs> warmer months not when it's 20 degrees outside let me know because uh i'm all for it this is gonna be fire mm, sure is oh so good i just love being out here in mother nature enjoying the peace tranquility and be able to enjoy what it has to offer firsthand it's a beautiful thing i can honestly tell you like all bullshit aside that was really really good that was really tasty and i am actually really full because i mean i had just a couple of those french fries i had one potato with me but i mean i essentially had an entire 18 inch walleye <coughs> to cook and i was gonna do one fillet but i ended up doing both and i am absolutely stuffed we did end up catching two fish uh, both of them were decent one was a keeper which we ended up doing a catch and cook with and i thoroughly enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it um quick little thing i want to say before we get going before i get going i want to let you guys know just take a moment when you're out in nature just take a moment to just appreciate the beauty you know take it all in and just just you got you you gotta love what you do and i love being out here i love just the spoils of mother nature um as i had with this walleye and i got to enjoy it um firsthand at the riverbank i mean that's just such a beautiful thing so i guess what i'm trying to say is if you guys enjoy doing this stuff i appreciate you watching me but get out there and do it yourself it's so much fun it does not get much better than that i mean this is completely awesome um again guys this was just a quick little catch and cook video i wanted to do for you nothing special once it gets warmer i definitely want to take my time to make some decent videos for you um especially with the catch and cooks you know so if you guys want to see more of that stuff let me know thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it if you can it would greatly help me if you give me a thumbs up on the video leave me a comment down below whether you like it love it hate it or just want to flip me off i'll take it appreciate you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and until next time tight lines see ya